Hello, my name is Nigel Poundstone, and I would like to thank you for tuning in to 59 Minutes. Tonight, I will be taking you on a journey of biblical proportions. I'm talking, of course, about the story of Moses. This great water of dihydrogen monoxide is, of course, the sea that Moses has parted. I'm talking, of course, about the Sea of Reeds. Hello. I've already said that we're going to be taking a journey through the life of Moses. But what about the life you didn't know? Here's Moses' house. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? Yeah. Now, we're going to take the elevator down. We are going to have to cover up the camera, because it could interfere with Moses' Wi-Fi. All right, I think we're here. Let me just get this door open. Like, oh. oh, my God. It's a rabbit dog! It's a rabbit dog! Get back inside! Get back inside! Oh my god! 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 I'm gonna go double check upstairs. <coughs> okay, you need to go look upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna to go look downstairs around this area and just look for Moses. Okay, okay. Now let me just take the camera. Is that okay if I take the camera? Okay, I'm going to take this here camera. All right, here we go. Looking for Moses. Looking for Moses. Okay, hold around here. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Moses! Moses, Moses, did you forget our interview today? Uh, d uh. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to go set up the interview in the living room and Whenever you're ready, it's your interview, your house. Do it on your time, so we're gonna go. Okay, okay I, I'll be ready in uh, just a minute. Okay, me alright, there we go. Okay, Moses, didn't you not have a mustache when I first saw you in there? Didn't I? No, no, you didn't. Didn't I? No. No, you did not. <laughs> Didn't I? That's what I thought. So, Moses, were you scared when you parted the Reed Sea? Of course not. God gave me strength. Just like everything else in life. I follow God no matter what. Right, right, of course. Well, we actually have a clip of you. Can we, can we show that clip right now? So, Moses, what do you have to say about that? Well, to be honest with you, if I remembered it better, then I could tell you. But apparently my wife says I'm going through Alzheimer's, mm. so that's kind of like up there on the list. That crazy baggage. I heard that! Hush! Ha ha ha! That's hilarious, Moses. So, don't you touch that remote, okay? I'm going to be watching you, okay? Stick around for more, 59 minutes. We'll be back with Moses' brother, Aaron, okay? If you leave, if you just think about leaving. Ooh. Welcome back to 59 Minutes. I'm Nigel Poundstone, and we are back with Aaron. Where's Aaron? Is Aaron going to be here anytime soon? Okay, he's about to walk in, so he should be here. And if you... No! No! Come on back. Come on. He's about to walk in. It's okay. You know, he's walking... Ah! There he is right now. What's up, dog? 
You want an air view? That's cool. So, Aaron, how good of a brother is Moses to you? That's a very good question, Nigel. Back in the day, Moses was always there for me. Mm. Through the parting of the Red Sea, right. during my speaking to the Pharaoh, mm. which was very difficult and very under pressure. Of course. He was always there backing me up, dog. <laughs> he was very smooth with it. <laughs> well, of course. Well, tell me, Aaron, how was your life like when you were living and traveling with Moses? I don't, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? That means I was going to answer your question, bro. Oh, okay. Well. So, you know, so you wouldn't have to switch the camera every time because okay, I was well, wondering why. Because I walk in and the camera's sitting there and now it's over here. Okay, well. What is up? Well, we moved it, okay, because I wanted to get in the shot. It's all about me, okay? The this interview is, my, is of me. This is my documentary. We get you enough, okay? Fair. Okay, yes. Fair. It's my documentary. Okay, here we go. Take it from the top. So, Aaron, how was your life living and traveling with Moses? Okay, so Moses, there was also another choice Aaron. of... Aaron, I'm yes. sorry. It's just you have the same flipping goatee. As Moses. Do I? Yes. It's like identical. You know, he's always telling me, you're copying me. And I'm always saying, you're copying me. Well. So it's kind of a, like a little war we've got going. Okay. Well, it I, looks good. It looks good. Can we say that I had it first? Okay. Well, I'm not really here to pick sides. I'm supposed to ask you questions to interview you. So, anyways. Back to the interview, um, there was another option to eat, I guess I would say, between sand and lizards. There was also manna. What uh, manna. did you think about manna. the manna? Manna was obviously a gift from God. Obviously. We couldn't gather on Sunday. Right. If right. I remember correctly. Right. Long time ago. Um... If I try to describe it, it won't get us anywhere. Right. It was more like tasteless cardboard. Fair enough. Cardboard. Fair enough. Cardboard. Yes. Okay. Well, I've but, had manna, and it is far from cardboard. Well, then you're having Japanese manna. Ah. Artificially made. I see. I see what's going and on. And by the way, manna was a gift from God. I might have already said that, but I wanted to emphasize that. Right, that right. That's a gift it's from a, God. It, Matt, hey, everything is a gift from God, I say. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> yes. God is great. God is good. Let us eat, you know? Don't make fun. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not making fun. I'm actually Jewish. So. I will kill you. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back here. 59 minutes. Somebody. Security! Security! Hello. My name is Nigel Poundstone. And you're watching... 59 minutes. Now, you might be wondering why I have a black eye. Well, recently we got in a little, you know, fight. I would call it, I'd call it a fight. He called it a beat down. I, I'm not sure why. I think I got a few swings in there. You know, I did. I'm not saying that I didn't, because I did. Um, but anyways, back to the interview. We have a random rapper from the street, and he said he knew a little, about, little bit about Moses, so we're just going to bring him in here and interview him. Lil Big, nice for you to join us. What's hanging, dog? Nothing. What's up, man? What's up? What's up, man? What's up? Okay, so, Lil Big. That's what my name, bro. do you know about the story of Moses? Oh man, he was oh uh, he was cool, bro. He did all that uh healing the sick and stuff. 
Right, right. Well, tell me something else. What do you know about the parting of the Sea of Reeds? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, they had that, uh, them... I don't really know about that, but, uh... Shelly, I swear, if you do not shut that dog up, I will punch it in the face. Hush! Continue. Uh, you know, I was thinking, I didn't really... <laughs> I didn't really know a lot about, uh, you know... Moses in the Red Sea, bruh. But, uh, I could tell you about Jesus. Right, well, this is not a documentary about Jesus. That is actually... I thought... Well, that's what you said, duh. No, I said Moses. Moses. We're talking about Moses. Get out of the shot. Oh, my gosh. Get out of the... Okay, now. Man, that's my dog. Well, you need to get it out of here, because this... Dogs are not allowed in here, so... <laughs> You better she get can, up. She can do what she want. No, she cannot. Yo, not in my interview. Okay, now you need to get it out. Now, or I will throw you out in your Ooh, box. Put the cap in you. I will yeah. throw you out in your box of mana. Come on. You stay right there. You stay over there. Yeah, go on in the kitchen. Get you something to eat. Okay, so. Uh, what? What was that? You heard me. You heard me. I, I'm under the impression that you just told my dog to shut up and go in the kitchen. To get something to eat? Yes, I did. What uh, are you going to do about it? Okay, well, I, I thought you said something else. What are you going to do? That's what I thought. Now shut up Nothing really, bro. and give me my interview. What do you know about Moses? Hold on, hold on. Is that the same goatee that Moses and Aaron is wearing? Uh, I don't really know, but, uh, it looks tight. This boy. is, this is nuts, okay? I, every single person that I have interviewed has had that little goatee going on there, and it doesn't look that great. I said it does, but it really doesn't, and it's making me mad. Well, that's what you think. Continue. I sell, I Continue do, I before I give you a black eye just like mine. Well, what I do know is, because I know a lot of things, bro. I, I seen it all. Uh, I do know that Moses saw that burning bush thing, and that was pretty cool, because I was like, what? Because a bush, like, you know, it, re it really burned up fast, because... And then that one be like, wah, 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 you know, with like that energy thing. And then like, it'd be on fire at the same time. And he'd be like, uh, wah, wah. So I'd be like, uh, that's really cool. Cause God, man, he's great. Cause he's just, he's my homie. Right. Well, I only have one thing to say to you about that. Get out. Now, and take your demon dog with you. Get out! Yes, you best keep walking. Man, I'm smack you. Bring it. It's what I thought. Gosh, I hate my life. Okay, now, before we shoot our last segment, I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes. Okay, now, we're going to go to Moses' dressing room, where he should be getting ready for the interview. Let's uh, take a look here. Okay, and <gasps> what's going on here? Oh, I knew it! Hey, hey, hey! No, you don't! No, you don't! Hey, hey, hey! Come back here! Come back here! You come back here! You get back here right now! You get back here! Hand Josh Hudson as Mosey. And also as Raven. And for some reason, also Lil Big. And Nigel Poundstone. A.K.A. Jackson Woods. Game over.